Yo, yo, yo. It's a top boxer in the United Mother States. They let me in, mum. <laughs> I am on the road cruising down the freeway in Houston, Texas, baby. Well, I'm way to Houston, but I'm in Texas, babe. Um, I'm here for two weeks. I'm gonna be training, but for the first week, I'm gonna be training slash, uh, you know, exploring with my girlfriend. After a week, she's back, and then I've got no, um, I start camp for my next fight immediately after that. It'd be great to get some good work with fighters like Lara, the Charlos. If I can get Errol Spence in there as well, all these names, you know, if I can get some good work with them, that would be great because this is where they train. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm stoked, and I'm going to show you a lot of what I get up to. So, keep watching, stay tuned, and hope you're entertained, baby. <laughs> so, I'm in a Plex gym, Benny Plex, for the first time ever. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> See him first. War ready. My name is Free Fountain Jr. And I'm one of the coaches here at Plex Boxing, along with Ronnie Shield, mm -hmm. Juan Shepard, Holyfield, Juan Diaz, Dominic Gwynn. I love history. <laughs> This is how I. Great, hold on. Yeah? You're rolling? Cool. So, welcome to um, one of the streets on French Quarter, which is it's in New Orleans. There's loud uh, music everywhere you go. This is a birthplace of jazz, um, painting. Um, I'm just buying this cup of water here. You can see it now. They're painting. We've got lots of cafes serving the local pastry, which is called Les Cremes Bayonets. My girlfriend describes it as a cross between a donut and a croissant with a powdered sugar puff spread on it. Also, last, last night we were here about 5.30 in the evening. There was a club that was jumping so early in the day. Uh, we sat in a jazz bar after. We had some of the, um, the local food. I can't eat a lot of local food because I've got what they call um, gumbo and jambalaya which have a lot of meat in them but they look delicious but um, just not for me but you know for anyone who wants to come here but yeah it's buzzing and um, you know life is to be enjoyed I'm not trying to wait till a certain moment to enjoy my life I believe in enjoying every day enjoying every moment enjoying um, life as it goes through because really what else are we working for you know spend all the whole, your whole life waiting for something that never comes so yeah keep following me on my journeys So I'm just trying to cover what's going on over here. There. Um, and the horses don't necessarily look happy. Why, why, why should we be able to do this? Why, why are we allowed to do things like this to animals, other living creatures? Just hold on, look at them. It's literally slavery. They're not getting paid for this. I'm sure they didn't. Um, elect to be living this life where they're standing around pulling carriages with people on them um, for someone else's gain. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't sit well with me. I don't like it. The horses look miserable. 
they don't look comfortable and um, yeah, they're just here being exploited by um, people who are using them to make money and I just thought to add this to what I'm doing just to raise some awareness that like, this is not cool there's one universal language amongst all living things in this world and that's pain I can't help but be empathetic towards the way it may feel being treated in that way um, yeah I don't want to ramble on too much I'm not necessarily an activist or anything I just thought to bring some attention to the fact that I'm not cool with this and I don't think it's nice it's not pleasant at all the video me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to knock somebody down. That's, that's, that's all. I just want to put a show on. Effie Tobor or Pucci. 197 and a half pounds for this cruiserweight fight. 197 and a half. And his opponent joining us from Mason City, Iowa. Please welcome Darius Flowers. 197 and a half for Darius Flowers with a record of two knockouts in his seven professional bouts. Effie Akjaba. 235 pounds for this 2016 Olympian. 235 pounds. That's how Jabba's a bullet. Mr. Creed said it as a joke earlier, but. <laughs> 365 pounds for Antonio Woods, 365. This is six rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Once again, Fi Akjaba versus Antonio Woods. Back in the hotel lobby, restaurant. Boys are getting some food for the kick ass in a few minutes. Look at your face of Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> the menu's not got a great deal for me here. It's the only vegan option that they have on the menu, I'm not a fan of. Just having some Lucky Charms. No, we're um, you know, fight day. So you know how different people prepare differently. Some people are more relaxed than others. I'll say that the are definitely more relaxed than I am. So lessons there to learn. Because I think um, I have a tendency to overthink certain things or to make some things really meticulous. So yeah, the day's been calm, it's been relaxed, we've just been chilling. Do you play chess too? Oh yeah. Do you play online? Mm -hmm. Oh sick, do you have that app? I, I beat him so much he doesn't want to play me anymore. <laughs> He's always playing it, but he doesn't want to play me. So that's FA, I walk him at chess all the time. When you're in the champ, you get ducked, mm? innit? The champ gets ducked. You're ducking me. Why are you pretending you can't hear me? Um, yeah, when you get to main event status, you get a lot higher up in the bill, you can come a bit later. But um, when you're lowering the card, you've got to come in early and um, experience all this backstage sort of activity. Um, you know, officiating and all the rest of it. Yeah. No idea. Okay. Tell me. A fighter who won two world, world titles at two different weight categories. I don't know. No, I think you should talk a bit. What are we going to talk about? Tonight's fight? Um, have you seen any of the fights so far? I have not been Have you not? Yet. You I missed the FAs? Yeah, yeah. I missed, missed a couple of fights already because Shit, I, had, I had my meal. They, they got to feed me before I go to work. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I'm not. I'm going to be hungry on the air, you know? Yeah, cool. Catch you in a bit. So, um, that's Paulie Man and Audrey who I just introduced to you, obviously. Take it easy. Uh, you good? And um, yeah, so we're gonna go back in now. It's been a great performance from the boys. Um, take it easy, yeah? Um, you see them, you wouldn't even think these guys had just boxed literally about 30 minutes ago. Second round knockout, first round knockout. That's all we do. No long to. 
I they walk what would they do? <laughs> and they time. walk what would they do? No time. Now they walk, oh. No, no time. I tell no you. Time to waste. They know they come yeah. free, oh. Now they no walk. Time. <laughs> no time. No time to they, waste. We won't rush our team to go. <laughs> hey. they, they say they got early knockouts because they just came for the check. <laughs> we cheer hard. We cheer hard. See. We cheer hard yeah, enough. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> This is all I came for, man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We're in the Savarese Fight Fit Gym. Come over to spa. A cousin of her old. So we found him. It's Cedric, the man who likes to spa. We've introduced yourself to the people, man. Cedric, and then, uh, former WBC Continental American Champion, former IBF USBA American Champion, former uh, US, WBC, USNBC. Why did you tell me this before I came to I'm going to help him in the corner. And I will make sure he kick ass. You understand me now? First and foremost, he was not lying. Second and foremost, I'm excited to be getting some work. And I know my FA is going to be the second in the corner. Okay, we're going to give the guy smooth, dirty slap. <laughs> Just for the sparring. Oh. Start six rounds sparring. One round in the back. Boy, in it off for the day. And I'm so damn good, man. Yeah, but yeah, it was good sparring, group, but that's what I came out here for. Look at the sun. We don't get this in London. Um, because I just come back from sparring. Still looking pretty, you know. Someone please explain to me. Where is is that putting avocado on his pizza? I just like an avocado connection. <laughs> Tastes very nice. <laughs> uh, ladies, this fine specimen of a man knocks six, people out yeah, easy. Six, six, six. And he cooks, ladies. And he cooks. What a catch. God damn. Just holler at him at every Ajaba, the one and only. Ladies, I'm going to go down a little bit. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> My trip has come to an end now. I'm back to the UK. Please like the video and subscribe. And also catch me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram at Top Boxer Sadiq, and on my Facebook page, which is Uma Top Boxer Sadiq. It's been a pleasure. See you again soon, and thanks for your support. <laughs>